She must be from outer space. I never seen this bitch before. What's good? Okay, we back with another 2K video, man. Let me tell y'all, bro. Before I get into anything, because I know why everybody here, man. Based on the thumbnail and the title, man. I know why y'all here, bro. Before I get any deep into the video, man. One, if you're new to the channel, bro. Make sure you leave a subscribe on here, man. We pushing to 1.5, bro. We pushing to 1.5 subscribers, man. So if you're watching this video, bro. You're from the 2K community. Make sure... You hit that subscribe button, bro. We're going to be going crazy, 2K24. Um, if you already been out to the channel before, man, leave a like. You know, send it to your friends. Tell them to subscribe, man. Let's get into the news, bro. Okay. Now that we sitting here, man, we talking about the news, y'all. It's super late, bro. It's super late. Before I get in the news, man, I'm going to tell y'all what's been going on, bro. I'm going to tell y'all what's been going on. It's super late, y'all. Right now, y'all, it's... Four, it's 4 a.m. right now. It's 4 a.m., bro. I really wanted to get this video out to y'all, bro. By the morning. And I'm going to tell y'all why I really wanted to get this video out super bad and why I'm doing this so late, y'all. Because um, I want to make a video for my side of the community. My side of the YouTube community. I'm sorry. My side of the YouTube community. So, I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers drop their videos on 2K24, their predictions and what they think should be taken out the game. And I've just been going through the comments and I see, like, I'm thinking just I was just thinking like I need to do this for my people. Like what if my people like don't subscribe to these people and they don't really know what's going on with 2K24. They don't know what's happening with 2K24. I want to be the information to y'all because y'all probably don't follow certain people. Y'all probably don't even like like even really care about 2K enough to really go deep and find out what's going on with 2K. But I'm here to get y'all a click away from knowing what's going on with 2K24, bro. So we got some information, man. That's really what I've been doing, man, for the last couple days, uh, like the last week, actually, like 2K been trending all on every platform, TikTok, um, uh, Twitter, Instagram, like 2K24 been trending, they've been dropping a lot of news, they've been, they took some stuff out the game that y'all might like, they took some stuff out the game that y'all might not like, so, what we gonna do, man, we gonna go ahead and go over these tweets, man, we, man, that I wanna go over, man, uh, Stacks end up accent, um, somebody up at 2K, man, um, how would it work, uh, inviting players on the other platform, like, you know, basically PlayStation to Xbox? We got the video here, we're gonna watch it, and I'm gonna tell y'all what I think about it, man. Let's get into it. Another one was, will there be an indicator to differentiate between players on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S? Yes, this was a popular one. So yes, there will be a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X and S indicator so that you can easily distinguish players on different platforms when you're playing in crossplay. Okay. Okay. As y'all heard, man, there will be, you know, a way to play with people on Xbox and PlayStation together. So if you on Xbox and PlayStation, if you did not know, you know now, uh 2K24 will be crossplay. There will be cross gens only between PlayStation 5 and the new xbox if you don't have ps5 or the newest xbox if you have the old egg the old gen xbox or the or ps4 you won't be able to cross play if you have ps4 or the old gen xbox you have to have to do x drop by xbox it's only between the new gens y'all so um my thought on this right here uh listening to that what they saying y'all um 2k uh known for having bad servers for a long time y'all i'm kind of scared for crossplay i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of like terrified for how crossplay is going to turn out hopefully they've been doing a lot of testing bro it's really different when they're testing it at their own you know at their own you know their own facility at the 2k headquarters and they testing it themselves. it's really different from when the game goes worldwide you have thousands and uh, Ten thousands of people all trying to load into one server and all play together, bro. Like even to this day, 2K23 even like gets laggy when you just skating around a city, bro. So I know it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be insane, bro. I really don't know what to say about it, man. We're gonna go back to the next tweet, y'all. Don't know. Now y'all know, bro. I'm gonna go ahead tell y'all, bro. Off the rip, they took out. They took out Limitless Range, bro. 
I'm going to tell y'all what I think about this from my honest opinion, bro. I don't really think Limitless Range was a bad badge. It kind of, it, it's like it was, it, it I mean, it is a bad badge because if you got a 99 dunk and you don't got Limitless Takeoff, you're not going to be able to do the good dunk. So that is that is bad. But for them to take it out and keep the dunk stick in the game, it's kind of crazy to me, y'all. Like I feel like a dunk stick is an even bigger problem. 2K, if you come across this video, this YouTube video, or if somebody turned this into a clip for TikTok, please take out the dunk stick, bro. Please. Dunk stick is such... That's probably like me playing 2K23, y'all. That's probably the one thing that aggravates me more than everything else. Like, like people literally, like, use this dunk stick as a bailout. Like, it'll be like... It'll be like 2020. You, they get to the stop on you. They get the ball, they move, they do what they do, get their drilling bars going, run to the basket, dunk stick, greens it, game. Please take dunk stick out the game, bro. Like, I've lost to dunk stick more than anything else in the game. Um, but I'm okay with them taking out limitless range takeoff, y'all. I'm not one of the people who cries about when 2K do something, y'all, because I always, always been good at 2K. Like, I always been good at 2K, but the last previous 2Ks has just been you know, a little bit. You know, they they just been bad, bro. Like I said, bro, I think dunk sticks needs to be gone. A drilling bars needs to be gone, y'all. Like they really need to take a drilling bars out the game, y'all. Like, like they really need to take a drilling bars out the game, bro. And I know y'all probably thinking like, what do, what is he saying? Like, well, what, what y'all probably looking at me like, what am I saying? Why does it matter, y'all? Let me t let me show y'all something real quick. Let me show y'all something. I'm not saying like like I'm like one of the the best. 2k players ever but basically what i'm saying is i'm not like a um what's the word i'm looking for i'm not like a up and coming 2k player i ain't gonna say up and coming i'm gonna say y'all i have put in numerous of hours like so many hours on like good 2ks i'm gonna compare my hours from me playing previous 2ks and y'all this is all from back in the day like i just went back like like y'all see five months ago to play 2k 18 2k 19 and 20 just to dribble the ball literally just to dribble the ball bro like i'm a dribbler i love to dribble i'm gonna show y'all some of my dribble clips on 2k 19 because in my opinion my opinion um 2k 19 has one of the best dribble system bro so as y'all can see up here on the screen y'all i have 200 2,000, my fault, 2,625 hours on 2K19, y'all, and also 2,022 hours on 2K20, and 1,875 hours, and I'm going to compare this to the recent 2Ks that has been coming out, y'all, uh, this is current gen, I don't really play current gen like that, y'all, I mainly play next gen, as y'all can see, I don't really have that many hours on current gen, I mainly play next, um, here you go, 2K25, y'all, like, I mean, I'm talking about 25. I'm sorry, y'all. 2K23. This is my 2K23 hours right here. Um, I don't know. Where is my 2K22 uh, at? Like, I, okay, I probably... Okay, let me go down to 2K22. Like, I haven't loaded 2K22 up since 2K23 came out. 2K22, bro, I had even less hours than... I mean, but I mean, I have more hours on both gens. I really like the 2K22 current gen. I like the 2K22 next gen, too. I'm going to tell y'all why I like the 2K22 uh, next gen. The 2K22 current gen and 22 next gen. Why I have a lot of... I ain't going to say a lot, but uh, like 300 plus hours on both 22 current gen and next gen. I feel like 22 current gen, it still had the pie chart. So if you know the pie chart was a thing that's been going on since 2K20, I feel like the pie charts really was, uh, I'm not going to say it was skill, but it was like balance. Like if you was a play shot, you only could really like damage your main two things that you could do. Unlike the newer 2K where you could just get a 99 dunk, uh, uh, you could get a, a 83, 83 shot, you get a, a 85 ball handling, you get some good D, you get to do everything on the court, bro. The OP build system has to go, y'all. The OP build system has to go. I'm getting tired of, like, and I'm not saying this in a way of, like, like, I'm not a sore loser, y'all. Like, 2K23, I have, on next gen, y'all, I have a 71, like, 0.5 win percent. Like, I usually don't lose 
uh on 2K23. Uh 2K20 2K23 current gen also I have a 70 plus, but as y'all can see, I don't really play uh like current gen like that. But if you want to talk about like 2Ks in this prime where I have showed y'all where I have numerous of hours. After 17, 17 was my first year actually like playing the park. Playing the park. I mean I played like black top on 14, but 17 was like my first time actually playing the my park, y'all. Like that was my first time playing the my park. And I didn't play like I seen gameplay of 15, but I didn't have a PS5, PS4 then. Uh I seen uh I played 16. But I just played my career. I didn't really play park like that. And I got into park on 2K17. After 2K17, that's when I, like, after that, that's when I started noticing, like, a little bit more about win percent. Like, I didn't really, really know about, like, win percent. I just was playing. Um, after 17, I always had over a 65 win percent. And my highest win percent I ever had on any 2K was 20. And 20 was not my favorite 2K. I just think 2K20 was, like, an easy, like, anybody could pick up and play 20 but the ones who was really like if you was really 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 good at 20 you could get on there and win all day like but everybody can go crazy and do what they need to do but i was the one of the people on 20 bro i had like an 80 win percent on 20 y'all like at the at the beginning and towards the end of 2k y'all i really stopped caring about my win percents at the end i had like a 79 not gonna lie but like probably y'all see how many hours i had on that 20 bro i probably had probably over I probably had over 3,000 games played in the park, y'all, on 20. And 19, I probably had over 4K or around the same much. But y'all remember it was 99 to Legend. So I was kind of my career in it a little bit, you know, because then you got double barred on 19. 19, I had like a 70, like a 75 win percent. I always had over a 60. I think the lowest between like the prime years, like my prime years, 18 through now. Like, my lowest one probably was 18, bro. 18, bro. I think I had, like, a 65 win percent. Um, I don't know. I could probably bring... I could probably show y'all at the end of the video. Like, at the end of the video, I'm going to show y'all uh, what did my record look like. I'm going to show you my record, what my record looked like. I'm going to actually show y'all what it looked like. I don't know if it was good or bad, but I'm pretty sure I had, like, a 65, maybe somewhere up in there. But let's go back to the news, y'all. Let's go back to the news. About this. I really wanted to talk about this, y'all. I really wanted to talk about this right here. Um... Like, I really wanted to speak on this. Please, 2K, can we just get the wreck, our regular clothes in the wreck? Like, I'm going to just say that simple as easy because I know they're not going to do it. I would be surprised if they if they did it. But this would be a W addition to the game. If you let people, one, 2K already, it takes about, it takes about $50, bro, on 2K to get an outfit. They let make you go in a wreck with this default outfit that we all wear. If we gonna spend fifty to sixty dollars on an outfit, right? Shirts already cost like twenty k BC now. If we gonna spend this much money on clothes, y'all might as well let us wear it in the wreck. Like, what's the point of making us spend thirty to forty dollars for one outfit, one pair of custom shoes, one pair of short shorts, and a and a shirt and some glasses, bro? Thirty forty dollars, bro, on the game, bro. Not mentioning you having to buy 2K, your player only go up to like a 75 in the beginning, so you automatically got to buy VC. Then you got to manage to get drip in there, bro. 2K just, just want to like, I ain't going to say like, like they need to start focusing on like thing like it be the little things in the game, bro. That's another thing too, bro. It don't even be the things that really be the, like the big things that really be the problem, bro. It don't even really be the big thing that be the problem, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, this not really coming from somebody, bro, who get on the game and lose. I don't want y'all to think like I'm getting on here just talking about things that I don't like. That's the main reason why I said win percent. I feel like, like, I really don't care about win percent, bro. I just play 2K and I know how to play. And the people that I play with, uh, Scam, Monty, uh, Chubbs, all my people that I play with, we all just... Like, we're, like, natural tryhards when it comes to 2K. Like, we get on 2K and we do what we got to do. We handle business. Like, we get on there, we handle business. You ask me, um, just now getting into Call of Duty, bro, if you ask me, win percent is no difference from a KD on 2K, bro. It's no different. A lot of people don't care about their KD on Call of Duty, but you really don't hear people in the Call of Duty community saying, like, you know, KD don't mean nothing. It kind of does, but 
you know, it's just like I feel like if you a good Call of Duty player, like a, a big streamer, and that's another thing, like me being a streamer and a YouTuber, like it's different for me. Like I'm not really like a casual, like I don't just get on the game and casually play. Like I got to do this in front of y'all. So me getting on 2K and losing, that's going to kind of like lower. I ain't going to say it's going to lower, but you ain't going to get much respect if you a YouTuber and you're on 2K just losing. I, that's, that's, I'm going to say that like that. Same thing for Call of Duty. I feel like if you first day Call of Duty drop and you play Call of Duty and you're going uh, zero and, and ten in, in a search. Who's watching you, bro? You see what I'm saying? Like, you got a negative KD right there. You feel what I'm saying? So, same thing with 2K, bro. When you're a streamer, bro, and you're playing 2K, bro, or you're a YouTuber, bro, nobody want to see you get on the game and lose. That's the main reason why I brought up. The two reasons why I brought up win percent. I don't really care about win percent. Um, I just get on there and do what I got to do. One, I'm a YouTuber. Don't nobody want to see nobody get on 2K and lose as a streamer. Nobody wants to see that. Like, the game is already down bad. You know, it ain't how it used to be back then. There's, It's a new, you know, it's a whole new thing to where, oh, this matters. And two, I'm just, I just get on there and play with my people, bro. We do what we got to do, bro. Simple as that. Core badges. Like I said, that's why I keep bringing up win percent, bro. Because I don't want y'all to think I'm saying remove. Because y'all probably watching like, bro, core badges is good. Like, why would you be mad at core badges? I don't really, I'm not mad at core badges. Like, I have my core badges. I play with people who have their core badges. And I still win on 2K23 next year and current. And I, But I don't think current have core badges. But remove core badges. And the reason why I'm saying this in a way to where I use it and I know, I know, like, this is broken. Like, you get to, like, Put on a badge and then add multiple badges on top of that. Like, that's, it's not necessarily broken, but it's really, like, too OP. It's too OP for me and people who, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not really as good as me. Like, it's kind of too OP. It basically just takes no skill on top of the builder and the way that the game play. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it just takes no, it takes no skill the way that the game play. I hope 2K really come through, man, this year with 2K24. I will be getting 2K24, bro. I'm going to have it the first day it drop. Y'all know I don't miss my 2K, bro. I get on 2K, make my build, man. Uh, the one thing that I really wanted to get on here and talk about, too, man, before we look at some more tweets, man, because we got a lot of more information to go over, y'all. Um, I don't think I got the tweet of 2K saying that they're removing, um, they're removing, um, what is they removing? What is what is it called? Quick drop, bro. They removing the quick drop dunk, y'all. Um, like I was saying, bro, I don't think the dunking is the problem. I don't think the dunking is the problem. It is dunk stick is the problem. A lot of people do rim run. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people do rim run. But it's like things on top of that that makes it like that makes people play the way they play. It's the things on top of that, like. You got a drilling bars, bro. Like a drilling bars make people want to do one or two moves or one or three moves and get a bucket. Like that's what a drilling bars does. Like a drilling bars make people want to get the ball and get a bucket. It don't make people want to really have fun with the ball and get flashy. Like it makes people want to get right to it. You know what I'm saying? It makes people want to get right to it. But like I said, bro, I don't really get on the game and lose, bro. I just play and I just do what I got to do, bro, when I'm in that field. I try to do everything right, you know, and it's not coming from somebody who a sore loser, y'all, but I really do think they need to take Dunk Stick out the game, y'all. Dunk Stick is really annoying. Uh, I do not like the Seeks. I really hope they take the Seeks, and I really want to talk about this, y'all. This is something that I really, really want to talk about. 2K really need to remove um, the whole dribble system needs to go. This whole little dribble system they got needs to go. And I know y'all probably looking at it. This is for the people who thinks that it is good. Let me I love 20 dribbling. I love 18. I love 17. You know, and looking from the clips of it, bro, I, I would have loved 15, but I didn't get to play 15. I played 16. I just played my career, though, so I got to see what the true moves was like. 2K19, bro, you just had to be there. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I really ain't really been satisfied with looking at people dribble the ball, bro, since 19. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I feel like 19 was the only game where you can really, like, do multiple moves. And as y'all can see up here on the screen, this guy's really going crazy, bro, with, with Six, bro. I feel like it's a, it's a difference between, um, like, like, 
like with like stand still and comboing. I feel like it's a difference. I feel like you could get on NBA Live and do and stand still and dribble. But I feel like comboing, bro, you have to really like I feel like when I think of comboing, like everybody might got their own opinion, y'all. Everybody might got their own opinion. But when I think of comboing, bro, I think of um mixing multiple moves. Multiple. When I say multiple, I'm going to keep it being. I'm going to keep it being with y'all. Multiple sigs and two dribble moves that connects together perfectly. That's what I think of a combo where you mix multiple moves. And I'm about to tell y'all why I haven't really been satisfied with people dribbling the ball since 19, y'all. One, I feel like the way I say think of multiple moves, bruh. I don't think 2K now have multiple moves to use for a combo. I mean, it's a, it's enough moves for a standstill dribbling because, like I said, you could get on soccer, bro, and just dribble standing stand still with the ball, you know, with the, with the soccer ball. I feel like that's standing still. You just stand still and you're doing move and you're doing moves was ever in the game. But I feel like comboing, you have to mix multiple moves. This is my opinion. Everybody might got their own opinion. It's my opinion. I feel like you have to be able to mix multiple moves together. And I feel like, um, I just feel like 2K23, 2K22, 2K21, um, 2K20, uh, haven't had, like, enough moves to, like, all put in one. If I can remember how the 2K19 dribble system worked, bro, you had rhythm dribble, you had park size ups, you had... Um, rhythm dribble, park size ups. You had um, like when you move the ball from the right to the left hand. I think it was just a crossover. You had the crossover. These are different categories. These is not all in one category. I'm gonna tell y'all what 2K do now. What 2K do now? I'm about to make this make sense. What 2K do now is, if you put on John Wall size up package, you're gonna have all his moves. Like you're gonna have John Wall crossover. You're going to have John Wall between the legs. You're going to have John Wall crab animation. You're going to have John Wall hop back. See what I'm saying? 2K19, you had, you was able to actually change each move, like, and make your own size up package. So you had rhythm dribbles. You had, you know, you had rhythm dribbles. You had park size ups. You had crossovers between the legs crossovers behind a back crossover and you had the the size up escape and these was all different ones that you could put into your drill moves to make them like you know a, a whole package you know what i'm saying you had the the spin like it was everything and you could the hot back you could choose your hot back like i feel like 2k23 they should let you go back to the the, the way to where 2k19 was where you could put every animation in there i would love to use KD hot back with with um Damian Lillard crab animation, but you can't because if you use KD hot back, you gotta use KD you gotta use KD crab. You know what I'm saying? Unlike 19, you will be able to use a LeBron the big LeBron hot back, mix it with the Damian Lillard crab animation. You know what I'm saying? You could do that. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's just his video. I know that probably like you bringing up somebody else's video. I'm gonna go and show y'all. My videos, somebody else's video, man. I'm going to show y'all my video, bro. This is my video. My dribbling looks way different than his dribbling. That's what I loved about 2K19, uh, bro. I feel like everybody dribbling was different. Everybody comboing and standing still was like a different type of thing. Mine's look way different from how he is look. He can mix multiple moves in just like I can mix multiple moves in. But 2K, bro, give us, give us, you know, give us a, give us a good, you know, give us a good dribble system, bro. Just if if not, if we don't get a good dribble system, at least give us a dribble system where y'all put every look. All right, first things first. Okay, first things first. Two K for two K twenty four. First things first. One, give everybody the six when the game first came out. Don't put them in a season every time. We don't want that in the seasons. Just give it everybody the dribble moves in the beginning of the game. Two, don't restrict any dribble moves. 2K19, as I'm showing up here, there was no restrictions. I can get every dribble move that a guard can get at 6'9". And as y'all see on this video, this is a 6'9.4". 
I really I've been doing six nine builds since 17 bro six nine builds is not really nothing new to me i bet i had a six nine po uh point four on 17 i had a six nine shot korean uh point four on 18 i had a per point four on 19 after 20 it went down a hill because you couldn't put you know you couldn't really get certain moves on certain builds after 20 that's cool though but like i was saying y'all like come on 2k like I want to get get on here, man, and continue talking about 2K, man. We got some more, we got some more uh, news for 2K24, man. That I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm excited for, but I'm kind of excited, bro. Like the way that they doing 2K24, bro. I hope uh, they just take a drilling bars out the game. I hope they take a drilling bars out the game. Please take a drilling bars out the game. Take the dunk stick out the game. I feel like that's the main thing that they need to take out the game. I feel like right now they're taking out things that. I'm not gonna say it don't matter, but they kind of taking out things, y'all, that that don't really matter. Like the main two things for me is the dunk stick, bro, and the drilling bars. If they can remove dunk stick and the drilling bars, bro, I think it'll be okay. Fix the servers. I wonder what they're gonna do with the park. I'm kind of excited to. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This year, I might actually play current gen and next gen. Like I might actually hawk both. I might go full time 2K. Like I might actually go full time 2K and keep some bangers for y'all going. But it's gonna be hard though because you know for my people who play 2K and Call of Duty y'all we do got MW3 coming out soon. Um I'm kinda excited to see what that's gonna be about. Like I'm kinda excited, you know, to see what that's gonna be about. Um if you haven't checked y'all I did drop a video on that. We not done though y'all I don't want y'all to think we done with the video. We got more tweaks to cover. Um, then I'm gonna just end it, end the rest of the video off with the rest of the tweets, y'all. Like I don't want this video to be too long, but like I said, y'all, at the beginning of the video, y'all, it's like, what? It's like, what time is it? It's 5 a.m. now, y'all. I've been trying to get this video out. I just wanted to get it out for y'all, for my side of the community, y'all. Like, 2K24. A lot of people been saying it's gonna be like NBA Live, bro. The way it play. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't really know what they gonna do. I'm excited to see what they're going to do, bruh. Um, another thing that I want to talk about, because I'm looking at this gameplay up here, up on the screen. I know y'all probably looking at the gameplay too, man. Mascots 2K. 2K. We're getting tired of mascots also. We're getting tired of mascots. I'm not going to lie. Please. We're getting tired of mascots. Give us. Give us. College mascots. And give us a legend grind. Give us a legend grind and give us mascots, y'all. Please, 2K. College mascots and Legend Grind, I promise you, I will run them hours right back up to 2K hours again. <laughs> Even if I don't get it, bro. That's another thing that 2K got to realize. Legend, Legend Grind was so good. Legend Grind was so good. A lot of people didn't even hit Legend. They just spent the whole year trying to get Legend. You got people who was on there, like, you got people who was on 2K, like, playing every day and never got the Legend, bro. That's good. Now they got this, they got this seasons where people is getting level 40 in, in a week. Bro, when the legend ground was here, y'all, I think the farthest I ever got, bro, I never hit legend before, y'all. And I, be, I spent that long on 2K. Not, bro, 2K used to really be that good, bro. Like, I spent that long on 2K, y'all. I spent, I spent 2,000 hours on 2K. Never hit legend one. I never hit legend, but I spent that much time on the game. That's how you know that not only was I grinding for legend, I also was playing the game because it was fun, bro. Like that's different, bro. That's that's a different kind of fun. 2K, just give us legend grind again and give us college mascots. Y'all already been running the regular mascots thing for a long time, bro. Just give it back to us. Y'all been running the regular mascots thing since 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 since. You see what I'm saying? All the way until 2K23. Like, just give us another, you know, give us another, another, you know, legend grind, bro. Give us, give us college mascots. I'm telling y'all. Like, I'm, I'm going to run them hours back up. I promise y'all. I'm going to run them hours back up. I'll put some cheese on there. I'm telling you. Don't give us, don't give us none of that, bro. We don't want no pay seasons. Don't give us no pay seasons. Don't put that in the game. Just give us the legend grind. Y'all already making a lot of money off people buying their clothes. And y'all have two, two. That's another thing, bro. Like, bro, I'm not gonna say get rid of current gym, but get rid of current gym, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, it's about time. 
even though y'all see current gen gameplay up here, but y'all seen earlier, bro, I only had like 40, 40, 52 hours on, on current gen. Just get rid of current gen, make everybody play next gen and get the next gen console, bro. It's about that time. I even had to do it. That's why I never played 2K15 or 2K16 for real, bro, because I didn't have the next console. You see what I'm saying? I didn't have the next console, so I couldn't. So 2K, go ahead, get rid of that current gen, man. Get rid of that current gen. Force everybody the way y'all did before to get the next game, bro. Then we gonna go to, bro. Buff lateral quickness and defense reaction times two in NBA 2K24. My opinion, y'all, I don't think 2K23 defense was that bad. I don't think it was bad. I just feel like the dunk stick and the dribble system made it bad. Like, y'all know, I don't know, bro, bro. I'm such a dribble head, bro. I kind of see what 2K be doing. Like, I'm such a dribble head, bro. Like, I know, like, usually when I watch people dribbling, like, on any 2K that I ever played, if I ever watch a dribble, like, video, or even if I'm playing with somebody and they're dribbling, bro, I kind of know exactly what buttons that they flicking to do the move that they doing. Bruh, playing 2K23, bruh, people do two things to score the ball on you, bruh. <laughs> Literally. People do two things. They're either using Michael Jordan dribble style to run past you or they're using a hot back bro or a quick stop i mean okay quick stop is compy don't don't get me wrong quick stop is compy but those is the only two main things he was using they are using a hot back to create space and get the shot off or they're using a michael jordan and run to the side and dunk bro. that's what everybody does bro like like that's what everybody does bro like everybody like and I don't even like how now it's a dribble style, bro. Take dribble styles out the game. Please take dribble styles out the game. I miss when running to the side was just a regular run. Like, I feel like that's when the quick stop really was fire on 20, when you ran to the side and you just ran and did a quick stop and shot the ball. Like, now your, the quick stop is like a dribble style. Like, your dribble, your dribble style that you use is what's going to make your quick stop look good or look sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, you know, Michael Jordan got that boost where he just boots to the side. And if you boot to the side, you step back and you stop and shoot. That's what it's based off of. So if you got, like, a slow dribble style, it's going to be hard to really quick stop. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard because we all know Michael Jordan is the best one in the game. But I guess they can buff lateral quickness and defense reaction time. I guess that's cool. But in my opinion, I don't think defense was that bad in 2K23. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was just me. Okay, remove bailout badge. Um, comment down below. How would y'all feel about if 2K was to remove the bailout badge of 2K? Um, I don't know, y'all. Like, I'm not saying the bailout badge is good. I'm not saying the bailout badge is good. I'm not saying the bailout badge is bad. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say it's bad because I feel like that could that could be a real badge in real life. Like that could be something. I don't want to say Westbrook, but that could be something like LeBron could have when he go up for a dunk and then pass the ball out. Like, it just bail out. You just bail out on your shot. It's not that bad. I feel like I could do a bail out in real life. You know what I'm saying? But, but what they need to do, looking at this tweet, what they need to do, all y'all about to relate to this. There is no way I got to have the bail out badge to bail out. That's what it is for me. Like, it ain't that they need to remove it. It ain't that that is not good or it's not bad. There is no way that I need bailout bass. Like, I can bail out the ball in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can run down the court, go up, and look and throw it to exactly where I want to throw it to without throwing the ball out of bounds. And my player is a whole NBA superstar. Why he can't just throw the ball? And y'all know what else I hate. But this has been a thing of 2K. They, they, I don't even know why I'm saying this. They not changing this no way. Y'all ever just throw the ball down the court? And they just make your player just throw the ball, like, anywhere. In real life, I'm, like, bro, Tom Brady. There is no way my NBA player that's 6'8", six, 6'7", six, can't throw a Tom Brady pass with a ball. Like, you're in the league, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it don't even be that your pass accuracy ain't upgraded. You have an A5 pass accuracy, bro. You throw the ball down the court, bro. That, it, it's, it's out, bro. It's going straight out of bounds, bro. Like, it's going out of bounds, bro. Let's go to the next tweet. Dang, what happened, bro? Not for real. Not for real. What happened, bro? 
What happened, bro? What happened, bro? What happened, 2K? Like, bro, this right here got me thinking, bro. Y'all oh, remember this, bro? Only OGs remember this, bro. Bro. 19K, bro. To upgrade all his three-point shoot with his agility, his playmaking, his defense, and his dunking and layup up. 2K23, y'all, that, that's 100K. All his VC he got right there on that picture, gone, 2K23. Not even putting it on this. He ain't got to put it on none of his defense, none of his playmaking, none of his agility. Just his shooting, 10K. This is what I was just talking about. I was just talking about this too, y'all, earlier in the video. And as y'all can see, if y'all want to go follow me on Twitter, y'all, this is my Twitter account, Trans with a Z. Uh, but as y'all can see, I said facts, y'all, because this is something that's really, that really, I ain't going to say it annoys me, bro. Like, I, like I told y'all, I don't really be complaining on 2K, whatever they do, y'all. I get on 2K and I do what I got to do and I win. I don't really lose like that. But NBA 2K24, every animation should be available on release. It shouldn't have to wait three months in a game to get certain moves. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier in the video, y'all. It's crazy that you have to get all the way at the end of the season, bro, the last season, just to get a dribble move, bro. Like, just put every animation in the game in new ones. Bro, we've been having the same seeds since 2K21, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna say 2K21. 2K20, I think it was 2K21 next gen, bro. I think they've been having these same seeds, bro, since 2K21 next gen, bro, if I'm not mistaken, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Because I know 2K21 had the speed boost glitch, and I didn't like 2K21 at all. Somehow... Well, I ain't gonna say somehow, bro. Belo, my friend, uh, my man's that I play 2K with, bro. He was hawking 2K21. He he was real good. He carried me to an 80 win percent, y'all, and I was playing lockdown. I did not like the game, so I hate that was one of my worst, like one of the worst 2Ks I ever played in my life. 2K21, bro. The speed boot flinch was insane. I hated it. You know, uh, it was just it was just bad. But somehow I still managed to have an 80 win percent on that game. Playing as a lockdown in the corner while my teammates carried me. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> 2K21 next gen. It didn't have a speed boot glint, so I'm guessing it had the same stuff that's in the game now on next gen 23, current gen 23, and stuff like that. Um, last tweet, y'all, before we end the video off, man. No way this is level 44 for season 9, bro. There is not even, there is no NBA mascot even in the season. No wonder they didn't announce this. Facts, bro. I knew they was going to do that. They didn't announce it. They didn't really say anything about it. But before I end the video off, man, comment down below, bro. Let me know what y'all think, bro. Uh, <laughs> next gen is core patterns. This game, bro, 2K24 better be a banger, bro. 2K24 better be a banger, man. But I'm going to catch y'all, boys. In the next video, I'm going to have this video out by, I'm going to say, 10 o'clock, bro. It's going to be 10 in the morning when y'all see this video. How much you want to bet? It's going to be 10 in the morning. You're going to be waking up, brushing your teeth. Let me watch some trends real quick. It's going to be 10 o'clock in the morning. Watch my video. If you're if you not watching this at 10 o'clock in the morning, that's because you ain't you ain't locked in. <laughs> if you're watching this and it ain't 10 o'clock right now, you know it's 11. you still locked in if it's 11 because you might have been busy for a little bit. Might have something. But if you're watching this and it's 2 o'clock, you better hit that subscribe button, turn them noties on, and hit that like button.